12 days of Christmas cookies. <laughs> Michael, let's do the honors again. I Advent calendar. What are we making this morning? Bam. Ooh. <laughs> Dutch, <laughs> Dutch apple, apple pie, pie cookies. And to show Ooh. us how to make them, we've got New York Times contributor, author of the Book of Pie, Erin Jeannie McDonald, joining us from the Institute of Culinary Education in New York. Thanks so much for joining They're us this morning. They're not coming to me yet, are they? Yep, we just no. came to you. <laughs> oh, are you ready right now? <laughs> Sorry, Erin, that one's on us. Are you ready now? Yes. Yeah, it's time. Yes. Yes, yeah. I am. Tell us about these great cookies. I am so excited about these cookies. They're my Dutch apple pie cookies. All the flavor of apple pie, but <laughs> in a cookie that you can gift and, and share with people. All right, should we get started? Erin, you got apple filling. Walk us through it. Yes, I've got my apple filling simmering already over here. It's got brown sugar, butter, a little lemon juice, and I have a few more ingredients I have to add to it. I've got granulated sugar and flour. I'm just stirring those together because the granules of the sugar can help break up the flour so it doesn't clump up when we put it into our filling. And then I'm also gonna add some salt, cinnamon, and vanilla to it as well. And tell us about the topping. What, what goes into that? This is delicious, by the way. <laughs> that. That's a streusel topping because you know a Dutch apple pie really has this incredible crumble topping. And what it does is it also helps to absorb some of the moisture from the filling. So it's just delicious all the way around. When the filling's done, it sort of looks like this, all nice and, and globbed up. And the streusel has flour, oats, brown sugar, we've got a little salt, a little bit of cinnamon, and then of course my favorite ingredient of all, butter. And we mm -hmm. add a good amount of that in there and get it until it's all crumbled up and nice and streusel for a great topping for our cookies. I love this foundation. It's something between a pancake and a pastry. Tell us about it. Yes, so uh, what I like to do for this particular one is I like to use puff pastry. Um, but when you use puff pastry, you have to be careful because it likes to puff up. So we wanna <laughs> make sure that for being a cookie that we've got it nice and flat. Um, so what we're gonna do actually is we're going to dock it with our little fork here. So um, docking just means poking holes in it. It allows steam to escape from the pastry. So we can just actually press the fork into it a few times here, and that's gonna help it to stay a little bit flatter and be a little bit more cookie-like. And the, the, you've done an amazing thing here because the, the pastry part is still really flaky and kind of crispy on the bottom. It's not soggy, given the, the weight of the topping. How did you manage that? Absolutely. So really what that comes down to, and this is the same thing with pie itself, it's proper baking. If you bake the dough well enough, it's not going to absorb moisture from the filling because the structure is going to be set. So what we're looking for is we want a nice golden brown bottom like this, and that really gets us this amazing crisp crust, but we get all the juiciness of the apples and all that good buttery crumbly topping as well. These well are delicious. It is really, really good. It is delicious. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. You can You're get the welcome. recipe. You can get Thank Aaron's you so much for having me. Absolutely. I'm glad it worked out. You can get Aaron's recipe on our website at goodmorningamerica.com. And tomorrow we have great British baking show winner Ed Kimber. He's going to share his cooking recipe. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.